Starting with a note from this vlog sponsor. Thank you so much, Tepton Paw. They sent Bambi and Prairie some beautiful things. Their mission is to elevate life with cats through thoughtful design and products. Here we've got the zip scratching post. Super sturdy. Bambi is always climbing it. Also, the book does stand. They're perfect weight so they don't get pushed around and they're elevated, which reduces neck strain. Lastly, the Vista Cat Perch. There's a concealed wall mount for a clean finish and the fur makes it so luxurious. Everything's linked, but also check out other wonderful things they make. It's orange juice. Look how cute the packaging is. Watch. I've always meant to get myself flowers. And I finally done it. It is so cute for decorating and is a treat. Flowers by Piper. Mm. I can finally wash my hair now. And this rug is meant to be very easily washable. That's important. And decaf coffee. I love myself a nice warm beverage at night. I think um, the roses triggered some allergies. Forgot that I'm allergic to pollen. I forgot how I did it. <laughs> This. Still just got the one plate, but that's gonna change very soon from ceramics class. therapy homework because I have it tomorrow. I always do it the night before. And and yeah. And I'm also gonna try to take poop because I have not pooped in two days. I noticed that. <sighs> I found this bulb and I kept this from my Providence, my college apartment, where I had a pendant light in the kitchen. This current LED that looks like the spirally kind. This is also LED. I wonder if it will be different or brighter, so I'm gonna switch it out. So for effect, you can see that's what this bulb looks like. For what it's worth, when it's off, the bulb looks a lot cuter because it goes with the vintage -y vibe in the industrial brick wall. So nice of you to hold down my book for me, sweetie. The 
Because I won't read. I rented these pearl earrings because I've been loving pearls, but it kind of tugs on my ears too much for comfort right now. And I'm going to be doing a lot of activity, so I'm going to put on some lighter earrings. I'm going to enjoy the sun as well. It's a nice day out. Would you look at that? It is 43 degrees outside. I have this rule. Well, I just know that anything under 40 degrees, I have to wear earmuffs or else I'm going to get a headache. And I was thinking today, I don't really feel like wearing earmuffs. I want to show my earrings and it's so perfect. What a nice walk to the hardware store. I am ready to be very indecisive. I've got pink on the mind, just thinking about what the office needs. Not sure, do I want a warmer pink or a cool tone pink? I narrowed it down to two colors because the samples here, unlike Home Depot, are expensive. They're like seven something dollars instead of three dollars. All color is relative and it is really dependent on your specific room, so the environment. There is no direct sunlight coming in this room. It probably will be more cool because a lot of the light coming through there is like blue tint. Even behind me right now, you can see it's like blue tinted compared to this room. Let's open them up. Let's open it. So tangy. The verdict is in. Happened sometimes, kind of expected it. It's neither. I really do like the colder pink and this is just too dark. So I'm going one value up, but that one is too pastel for me. So I'm going to be mixing my own custom shade with the samples basically. And you're probably like, then how are you going to color match it? You pretty much have to mix it and just paint everything you need to paint in that one go so that you don't have to go through the trouble of potentially not being able to get the exact shade again. So I'm going to make a big batch. Three samples later, look at the one I've decided. Hey, I can't. I can't hold you right now, I have gloves on, see? It is a more grayed out version of this really saturated dark pink, and then it's more cool than this kind of corally pink, because the lighting also looks different at night with this LED on. I get to see it clearer in a way, because in the morning it was all like gradient because the light was coming from the window only and it was really, really dark on this wall. So now I kind of see what I'm trying to do and I really like this one. This is the status of the room. It took me three hours to get this progress. Granted, I was using a four inch roller and the reason for that is it's a lot easier to clean. So I'd rather just make it more difficult in this process, have more control and it's very therapeutic to be honest. So <laughs> very luxurious therapy session from my very own lay down couch. Let's do this thing. So I've told him he can come up and he jumped up by himself 
I was like, you should lay down. And he's like, is this actually for me or is it another storage shelf? Hi, Mama. Remember this painting? I started it in March of last year. And I was actually painting part of it in this chit chat video I did about how to embrace your individuality. And I was kind of also getting over my art block in that time. And I kept working on this painting in segments. Where I arrived eventually, I'm so happy with it. And I thought all of the pink tones would really pop on this wall. So I was so excited. It's dried, I brought it back from the studio, and I'm gonna decorate this space above my office to give myself like a little mood and inspiration board. I'm gonna add way more stuff to it. really huge half-finished painting that I made for a class final sophomore year and then I just ran out of time so I would love to bring this in the studio and change it just like probably cover up most of it and do something different with it I don't know 